Every year, people in Lawrence gather at the South Park to celebrate art, listen to live music, and become closer with their community. To take a break from studying, Tyler Tankersley found herself at Art in the Park. I came last year and walked around a little bit and then my roommates came and said it was really fun. So, Whether you're just passing through or you're making a day out of it or you're enjoying the beautiful weather, Art in the Park has something for all age groups to enjoy. I definitely love art. I'm not artistic at all myself, so it's fun to go see and appreciate other people's talents. Yeah. Others come to Art in the Park to display their own work. Mary Brooks has been a full-time artist for seven years. The unique setting is what drew her to the event. And it's a great show because it's, you know, lovely setting, trees. You know, I, I have done city urban settings and this is preferable. She hopes the money raised can help someone find their passion for art just like she has. It just overtook me. I mean, you kind of decide what you want to do for the rest of your life. And this was it. Art in the Park has been a fundraising event for the Lawrence Art Guild since 1964. Hosting over 20,000 people, it has become the largest event for the Guild.